Okay, greetings boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. In this video, as you can tell by title, and, and as you can see right in front of you, I'll be comparing to the Xbox One controller and the PS4 controller. To your, le to your left, as you can see, you have the Xbox One controller, and to your right, we have the PS4 controller. Both controllers have their ups and both controls have their downs so with that being said enough rambling on going off topic because I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long let's get started I'm going to pull the Xbox controller for, to one side for a moment and we can focus on the PS4 controller we're going in alphabetical order and PS4 controller The, P the PS4 controller, they have the buttons there, uh, X, circle, triangle, and square. They've got the directional pad, di not directional, the uh, analog sticks, which are on either side. And got the home button, the PS button, the home button, which used to be in the, it used to be at the top on the PS3 controller, which I'll leave that for another video. But it's the button. And there's a speak these holes there, which I think are speakers. And they have the share button there, which is for sharing videos to YouTube and pictures. I'm putting pictures up on Facebook and whatnot. This options button is basically to put the this the options button is basically the pause button. From older PS consoles controllers, and the directional pad is opposite to the buttons. And this, the PS, the PS4 controller is battery is you don't need a battery, which is the one thing I like about the PlayStation controllers, PS3 and PS4 is. It, they don't require batteries. You don't have to buy batteries every every single week. And you see the charging port. Look at the charging port. Let's see if the camera focuses. If the camera you bother to focus, do you want to focus? No, it's not focusing. But regardless, does this look familiar to you guys? Does this look familiar, boys and girls? Yep, yeah, that's right. The Samsung char yep, Samsung charger. That means you can use a phone charger. This takes micro B. You can use you can use you, you can use a phone charger, a some a Android or BlackBerry charger to charge a PS to charge a PS4 controller. How cool is that? How cool is that, ladies and gentlemen? You can use the same charger to charge your phone to charge your PS4 controller. And so, uh, and so, you know, I've got a charger right here. I've got my charger right here. There. Boom. And as for the uh, direct, the uh, bumpers, R1 and L1, as for R1 and L1, R1 are kind of like outwards a little bit, but not too much. And you know, and they they grip quite they they R one and L one L two and L two grip quite well in your hands. But if your hands are really wet, if your hands are really wet or sweaty, the tr the trouble is they're gonna like your fingers gonna just slide away. So that's the PS four controller. 
I'll compare the two and give my verdict in a little while, but now I'm gonna down for the uh, Xbox One controller and just toss that to one side for a second and now we can focus on now we can oh I forgot to mention something about the Xbox One controller. It has it has got a headphone jack. If you if you're playing your friends online there's a headphone jack right here. And a microphone thing there as well. And no camera's not picking it up, but you know. Okay, now we can focus on the on the Xbox One controller. Yes, it's white because I've got an Xbox One S. Um. Hold on a second. What? It doesn't micro B, this one's micro B as well. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, anyway, this Xbox One controller. This Xbox One controller. The buttons are there. Got X, B, A, Y, and X. Akin to PlayStation's X, circle, triangle, and square. The home button, the home buttons at the t Unlike the Xbox, I mean, unlike the PS4. The, the home button is at the top, whereas, at the, whereas on the PS4 it's at the bottom. And the directional pad is at the top. The analog stick at the top, the directional pad at the bottom. The analog stick is exactly the same place as your PS4. And look at the headphone jack. There's a headphone jack there, which... I don't think it's on the original um, Xbox One controller, which was on the Xbox One S, which what this one is. And there's another headphone, there's another jack there, I don't know what that's for. And... The main difference between the Xbox One controller and the uh, PS4 controller... As you guys probably know, and I just, and I just told you guys, the Xbox One controller, uh, the PS4 controller is... Does not need batteries. To ch it, it has a it is the batteries are built and it charges, but the the big issue I've got the Xbox One controller, which is the same issue I have with the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty controller. Look, you need battery. Xbox One controller requires batteries, and it, as every as every one of you knows, as every one of you will probably know, buying batteries for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One controller. Isn't remember back in the days for Xbox 360, buying batteries every every freaking week, every freaking week, is a hassle. It's a headache. Buying batteries. But with the batteries, the Xbox controller is pretty hefty. It's pretty bulky. But if you take the batteries out, like so, if you take the batteries out, it's as light as a feather. It's not. It's not so top heavy. It's as light as a feather. But as soon as you put the batteries, if as soon as you put them back in, if you put them back in. They weigh a bit. They weigh, they don't weigh a ton. That would be exaggerating. They well, they can. It's considerably he it's considerably heavier. To put it that way, as you can tell, the sides. You don't know if you can see is RB. There's the bumper. The bumpers, which are. These buttons, the top buttons at the back, the top bumper buttons are a lot bigger than the ones on the PS controller. And the but and the triggers stick out a bit more like horn. They stick out a bit more like you know, like devil horns. And the best thing about that is if your hands are sweaty and greasy your fingers stay on the trigger. Your fingers stay on the trigger. And there's been a PS4 back in. 
but the PS, but the PS4 now, the PS4, your fingers don't stay on the triggers. Let me just uh, put the side. Your fingers don't stay on the triggers, but what was on the Xbox? No. Your fingers are gripping onto the. Your fingers are gripping onto the triggers. Your fingers aren't gonna ricochet off the triggers. But what was on the PS4 now? They don't. Your fingers don't stay on the freaking L1 and R, L2 and R2. The headphone jack is on a pretty similar place. The headphone jack is on is on the left. I mean on the right on the PS4 on the Xbox One. Control it's on the left. Okay. I can just get down to my opinion now. What which one of these controls do I put do I prefer do I have fun of the most? Honestly, X the PS4 controller is a is a lot more efficient because in the sense they don't have to buy batteries for it. Another advantage it has is that you can use a phone a Samsung charger, an Android charger to charge to charge the PS4 controller. Like finding ch finding charges for this isn't all that hard. You just have to go to I don't know a pound a pound store on or a ninety nine cents a dollar store ninety nine cent store and just pick it up for or pick it up for a pound or a dollar if you if if you if you live outside the outside the UK. But with the Xbox One controller, like I said before. Getting batteries for it can be a bit of a pain. Which I know a lot of you will agree with me on this. That's the only thing I don't like about the Xbox One controller. It's having to buy batteries. The good thing about the controls however is. Your fingers stay on the triggers and don't fly off. There's a point on the end of the trigger which stops, which stops the controller from, or stops the fingers from rico ricocheting off the controller, which is a good, which is a nice touch. It's a very good touch. But for nostalgia purposes, I'd have to go for the PS4 controller. It sort of changed compared to the PS3 controller, to be fair. But the fact you don't need to buy batteries makes it. The better choice. So, without rambling on too much. Oh, one second. This was here. But rambling too much. Okay. My final decision. Okay, here is here is boys and girls crunch time. My final decision. Which controller? Uh. Do I go? Do I go with though? So, out of a score of one to ten, I have to give the Xbox One controller. I think I'll give it about a six out of ten. The, the, the advantage this, ha this has is that the controllers are point that control the uh, back buttons don't f stay on your fingers. That the only gripe I have this about this, however, is having to buy batteries. It is it, it's costs a lot. Of, it's very costly. And it's kind of annoying when your batteries run out. But the PS4, however, you don't need batteries charged. You just need, you just need a Samsung charger and you're good to go. So f f the control, the control, the button, the I want an R, L2 and R2 are. Leave a lot to be desired, but I can look past this. What I can't look past is having to buy batteries forever. So, with, with a 9 out of 10, the winner is the PS4 controller.
just because I'm to buy batteries for it. Every, every single time. So that was my comparison of the PS4 controller and the Xbox One controller. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next one. And before I, up, and before I upload this video I'm going to take some still pictures for those of you who follow me on Instagram. So thanks for watching, take care and look at future content. See you guys.